The civil aviation community and the International Civil Aviation Organization have actively promoted the use of global navigation satellite systems. A wide array of applications have already demonstrated the enormous benefits to be gained from onboard GPS receivers, including safety enhancements. For precision approaches, however, standard GPS information alone does not offer the required quality level. The ground-based augmentation system, GBAS, is a system that provides enhanced GPS positioning to aircraft with the accuracy, integrity, continuity and availability that precision approaches demand. The GBAS principle relies on differential corrections of the GPS signal. A ground station is fitted with a number of GPS receivers. Given the pinpointed position of the receivers, errors in the received signal can be measured and corrections calculated. Together with final approach information, these corrections are transmitted to the aircraft via VHF data broadcast. The aircraft thus benefits from accurate lateral and vertical positioning, enabling precision approach and landing operations. Why is GLS or differential GPS such a good system? It allows to fly very accurately approaches towards airfields or towards runways, but with a ground installation which is by far simpler, by far cheaper, and by far more flexible than the ILS. The ILS is a fantastic system, but the ILS, I mean, for each runway, you need to have antennas, you need to have calibration exercises every year, etc., etc. Whereas with one ground station on an airfield, you can feed all the runways of this airfield and fly GLS approaches to all those fields with just one station which is located inside the airfield. Airbus has developed a GLS program for the A320, A340 and A380 families. An intensive flight test campaign has been carried out in Toulouse, with some additional flights in Sydney. Also, under the European project Optimal, additional tests on interoperability and geographical impact have been conducted in Malaga, in Spain. On board the aircraft, Airbus has chosen to integrate GLS like the ILS, capitalizing on existing aircrew practice. The procedure, the displays and the warnings are all the same as for ILS, keeping GLS training to a minimum. You fly the same, you have the same signals, you have uh, the, the same information, instead of, instead of reading ILS here, you read GLS here. Uh, instead of uh, having here a frequency, you read what we call a channel. But for the rest, it's exactly the same thing. You fly it exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. GBAS systems are disseminating precision approach practices throughout the world. In some areas where ILS already exists, GBAS stations are deployed because of the associated technical robustness, cost investments and airport capacity benefits, also providing smoother guidance. The A380 has now been certified for CAT1 Autoland and several A380s will be delivered in 2008 with embedded GLS capability. The company's next step is to obtain GBAS CAT2 and CAT3 minima as soon as possible, demonstrating Airbus commitment to worldwide GBAS research and development and fully releasing the potential benefits of GLS. <laughs>